will now just get to the the vineyard there because it's kind of impressive. And uh, you know, uh, old vineyard has really low yields, but the quality from the grapes that we get from these vineyards is just amazing. And uh, all what we get from these uh, old vineyards goes for the production of the Grand Vintage. Is one of our just well. This week they've told you, mm. they've told us that uh, this cava will be cava da para ja qualificar. Mm. So we are kind of really proud. So I think it will be a good idea if you can see uh, this uh, this vineyard here. And mm. we will taste it afterwards. Mm. Mm. Well, of course. Mm. So you have any questions? No? Okay, so we'll continue. <laughs> You know, know about the categories, the cover categories. Yes, and we were chatting about it at the last, at the last one. Yeah, about the different uh, criteria. Yeah, it's a great, um, it's a great development. Yeah, Carver, isn't it? It seems like it will. Yes, it's, it's like a little top, step, yeah. yeah to, it's like a top standard yeah. of quality. Yeah, yeah, because also has been a lot of trouble about their cover, and I think it's a yeah. great investment. Yeah. Would you wait that you can defer some some product from the other? Yeah, through a lot of administrative uh, yeah. papers, no bureaucracy. Because they really need to pay attention to the yeah. people. So they really need to prove, you know, that the the area, the plot is different. Yeah. Um, I know in Ireland the the cava category is, is changing in terms of how people relate to it. So Irish people used to see it was like cava and prosecco is the same. Like it's it's yeah. cheap sparkling wine. Yeah, yeah. Now people are understanding that you no, know, it's, yeah. it's, it's more edges, but also the they're, they're spending more, they're buying more cava, but they're actually spending more, they're buying better. Yeah, cover. yeah, the, the, the They're not just the looking money. for cheap, so they're kind of yeah. seeing it as maybe, you know, closer to champagne yeah, than the really second. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's really important, it's a really yeah. big step because it's a completely different Prosecco yeah. from uh, Gala, you know. Lot of work that, uh, I don't think it's actually a UK, I would say people still think about it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the like general, but yeah. still that. Yeah. 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 Because for many years, uh, when you're comparing it to like Prosecco Cesante, you know, it's particularly in Ireland, the GT is so high on um, on champagne style, you know, on, on the full, full, fully sparkling wines. Like, a lot of people don't understand that, that when they're buying Prosecco Cesante, there's a lot less duty on it, so, that, so that's why it's one of the reasons that it's yeah. so much cheaper. So if you're trying to compare it to the two different products. So we just came from Delarnu. Uh, what is Delarnu?
but I, I joined these guys today. So we, you would already be out to Kansala. Sala. So it's a two, um, it's on YouTube. Sala. Um, Welcome to my home and also <laughs> to Canvas. Uh, you have seen now the vineyards uh, where are born uh, all the grapes for our special, for our Grand Reserve Canvas. Mm -hmm. Now with Beth, uh, you will visit, I think a short visit here, yeah. just in order to know where the grapes are uh, going to wine and uh, later you will go to Pereventura. Mm -hmm. So the Cava winery that uh, Pere, Peter, Pereventura, my husband and I, was founded in 1992. It's just two kilometers start from here, very, very, very close, okay? And uh, that will be nice to do uh, also, I think, a short uh, guided tour through the underground galleries and uh, uh, Sigrid and uh, Beth uh, has uh, prepared something very special for you in the deepest uh, uh, place of the winery and later, of course, the traditional cover tasting, okay? Now we are very proud and very glad because two days ago uh, we have received a communication about uh, the cava de paraje for one of uh, our uh, Grand Reserva Cavas and we are really very very happy. It's not official yet, right? No, we yes. know. You are, maybe you are the first ones to yes. know it. Yes. Yes. Mm. Okay, so <laughs> thank you and you can go on if you like, of course, with Beth. Oh, thank well, you so much. Thank you. <laughs> so here we have the cellar, and we'll go inside. Uh, just a short advice, because uh, we, we will change the lights, so uh, it's a dark cellar. Uh, a little bit colder than uh, here on the outside, and of course also we'll change the smell, because uh, well, we'll smell wine. <laughs> capacity each one, kind of uh, pretty big, but uh, here we we don't use them. We just maybe use two or three of them because they are uh, really too, too big. Mm -hmm. So we'll continue. of elaboration because I, I will know that you already know them. Yeah. Just uh, particularly here is that all the grapes that uh, they will enter the cellar, uh, here we don't uh, de-steam them. Okay, so we'll just enter to the press with all the steams, the whole bunch of things. Okay, just to have more chance to press, pressing them and uh, we think that uh, then it's, it's better with a high quality use of the grapes. Okay. Continue a little bit more. And yeah, another particular trick here is that before entering the grapes inside of the cellar, we have big refrigerators to cool the, the grapes. 
because as we have manual picking, we have to pick mm -hmm. them uh, during the day. And here it's kind of hot, so we are 30-35 degrees Celsius of temperature. And of course it's the same temperature that the grapes they will get. So it's better for us, just, it's a cleaner way of working, if we can just enter them at 8-9 degrees Celsius of temperature. Then also is a way of, uh, of decreasing the, the amount of sulfates that we have to add to protect the, the grapes. Uh, so here is we have the fermentation area. Uh, it's in smaller vats compared to the others. Each one it has 5,000 liters capacity and it should be there in the front 10,000. Here, uh, the fermentation, all it's a spontaneous fermentation. So it's the autochthonous yeast that will just come along with this, with this uh, fermentation of the calves, okay, with the first fermentation process. Well, I don't know. Well, we just came here along the wall. This is more for the production of our wine, of a still wine. Because uh, mm -hmm. they, the wine, so they press the grapes with the feet and then they will hear the record and just the ferment. So up here we can see this evolution of technology. And now we use these tools for the second fermentation process and aging of the grand vintage. Yeah, now I see it better because we have another wall where we can go inside. And um, how do you get them in the night? Is there another one? Uh, we just oh, the take thing. the glass out and then just put the stairs to go in here inside. Oh. And put it back in. What I do? Well, first, the first thing we've done is this file here and then we just put the other It's This is one vintage. The yeah. same vintage. I was wondering the same thing. Hmm. Mm -hmm. This is not so bad. underground here, but yeah. this is a, and you can see it here, it's our, our bottles, we have uh, four different vintages now aging here, and you can see well, it's uh, here we have with all the yeast, and, and it's really fuelized because the, the bottle is transferring wine, so we have to be aware of the oxidation today. Mm. Yeah, this is just the uh, space that we have. Yeah, the reception area as well. Mm -hmm. it's, it, you can just have it there if you want. We have some we use nice. it as a taste area as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank 
careful with the floor because it's wet. Oh yes, I see. Hey, Christopher, no. Yeah. You know, there, there is people they say, yeah, you call it slippery because maybe because it rains. But of course, this is not, uh, this is not the, the, the case. But actually, what you see is that because it's raining, the temperature of the, the soil, the ground, is going down. Mm -hmm. And the difference between the temperature here and in the soil is giving the condensation. Mm -hmm. And yeah. this condensation then it then drips, and then uh, that's why it's a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, be careful. Be careful with the yeah, be, be careful. And you know, I did those, the walls that we have over here, we call it a rima. A rima, where we do the shutla. Like so how many bottles do you produce here? If you... Uh, we talk Peratentura, Peratentura Brains, yeah. we produce uh, 1.3 million bottles on an annual basis. see over here as well, and we spoke about sustainable, mm. but here as well, we are not using uh, air conditioning, so every, everything is, uh, is natural. This is natural temperature. Uh, natural temperature over here, we have, uh, we have three levels, mm. so this is let's say the highest level, and then we're going down two, we have three levels. Very peaceful. Yes, yeah, very still. Yeah. But that's what we like. It needs to be peaceful. <laughs> the bottle's like. Yeah, it needs to be clean. Mm. At least it's uh, here in the middle. And of course, you know, like the wall is automatically with a high uh, humidity. Mm. You, know, you always find the mold. Mm. Yeah. Yes. But this is actually what we like as well. You know, it's giving you a little bit, you know, the atmosphere. It's a little bit more the German system. Yeah. And later on you will also see the French system. Okay. So now we're going to the to the second level. We're going straight. We're going straight. So we're, cooler, no? yes, yeah. Yeah. so we're doing here the, the aging on uh, half bottles, mm -hmm. then 75. Mm -hmm. We do the maximums of uh, one and a half liter. Yeah. And this year we also started with the We also started with uh, the Jero Bond. Ah. Why did you decide yeah. to introduce those this year? Yeah, because we there's an uh, uh, yeah, what I said, you know, we, have, we, we always say we have respect for the land, mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. for the worker, for mm -hmm. the, yeah. also the next to the consumer. And what yeah. you see is that the market is asking more and yeah. more uh, mm -hmm. general bonds, mm -hmm. especially in the old friends. Yes, I so, read a piece about this last, oh, last year. Yeah. And I know it's, it's, it's starting from a very small base, but it's yeah. growing, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. yes. Mm. So, uh, Oh, so it's, it's, it's interesting. And, and like you know, we are not allowed because we are only one of the few producers that is doing meat as well. So we're doing 20 centimeters as well. Uh, but we're not allowed to do the aging near the underground cells. So we do the so-called transfer method. So you need to, uh, after the divorcement, of 75 centimeters, yeah. 
We are putting this in a 20 centiliter bottle. Why are you allowed to age them down here? Is it just a rule? It's a rule, yeah. It's, it's, it's yeah. let's say, part. So here we mm. see this is a little bit different than the German system with the Rima. Yeah. And this is what we call more the, the, the French system. So you have a sub calf, you know, that we start at the beginning and then we build the, the top. Mm. Después hay un sistema español que no tiene, no tiene madera. No tiene, no, no tiene, no la no la tengo. No, no. Ok, yo voy a ir aquí. Ah, es la que está en la calle.